Today I'm going to show you 10 hidden features that you can do with your Apple TV that most people don't know about. And these features work with the Apple TV 4th gen and newer. Starting with number one, synced home screens. This feature right here is one of my favorite features and it will save you so much time and frustration. If you have multiple Apple TVs, then having to download all your apps one by one on each TV, then having to move them where you want them to be on each TV on your home screen is very annoying. With the feature called One Home Screen Enabled, your Apple TV will do all the work for you. To enable this, open Settings, Users and Accounts, choose the default user, scroll down to One Home Screen and turn it on. And now all the Apple TVs that you are signed into with the same iCloud account will all look the same. This way, if you go to a different room, everything will look the same. So you can easily finish watching your show and not have to worry about trying to find where the app is. This feature is very small, but it has saved me so much time and frustration. Hidden feature number two is called picture and picture. When you're watching a show or a movie, you can use picture and picture to play multiple videos or movies at once. To set this up, start by playing a show or a movie and then press the up button on the remote. Then scroll to the right and tap on the little window with an arrow and the window will shrink. Now you're able to scroll around and open other apps. So if I wanted to open up Prime Video, I can open up the app and play a show and as you'll see my show from the TV app is still playing here in the corner but and what you can't hear on camera because of copyright audio is currently playing from the show that is full screen and not from the TV app to switch the audio, press the TV icon to switch the audio to the TV app and the video from Prime will still play. You can close the Apple TV app window, make it full screen, or even move it around to a different spot on your screen. Though you can't pause what's playing in the small picture in picture window, which is kind of odd. Unfortunately, you're not able to have big streaming apps like Netflix, Prime, or Disney Plus in the small picture in picture window. That will only work with the native TV app. Hidden feature number three is that you can control the playback of your Apple TV from any of your Apple devices. Now controlling your Apple TV is really easy since it only has a few buttons. And to make it even easier, or if you've lost your remote, playback controls appear right on your lock screen for easier control. You can play or pause, you can go forward or go back or even scrub across the video, control the volume of your TV if your TV supports this, and even open up the TV remote for even more controls. What's also cool is that you can control the playback in the now playing section of Control Center. And any device that is on your Wi-Fi network is able to view and control this as well. So this can be done from an iPad or even your Apple Watch, which is very cool. Hidden feature number four is that you can view your HomeKit cameras and run your scenes straight from your Apple TV. With Control Center on the Apple TV, you can quickly adjust settings and controls on the fly. Press and hold the TV icon for a few seconds and Control Center will pop up on the right hand side. You can switch between different profiles, put the device to sleep and see what's playing. And here's where you can control your HomeKit devices. You can view your cameras and swipe to switch between your cameras. If you tap on a camera, it will expand to full screen. And here is a bonus tip. On the bottom right hand side you'll see two icons. The one on the left allows you to see all the devices that are in the same room as the camera and you can easily turn them on and off from here. And the button on the right allows you to view the live feed of all your cameras at one time. And going back to the menu, if you go to the left, then you can see all of your camera's live feed all at once right here as well. And you can run your scenes by tapping on one. If you have a HomeKit doorbell, then you'll be able to get an alert whenever somebody is at your front door. Hidden feature number five is that you can use your HomePods to control your Apple TV. With the Apple remote, you can use Siri to control your Apple TV and ask who stars in a show. Even though you can't do this with a HomePod, you can control the playback hands-free with a HomePod or a HomePod Mini. You can tell Siri to play or pause a show. Play. Pause. Turn on and off subtitles. Turn subtitles on. Turn subtitles off. And if you say, what did she say? Siri will rewind a couple of seconds and temporarily turn on subtitles so you can hear and see what they said. Hidden feature number six is that you can create folders for your apps. 
If you have a bunch of apps on your Apple TV or just want to have a clean looking home screen, then you can create folders for your apps just like you can on your iPhone. Select the app that you want to put in a folder and press and hold on the middle button till it starts to jiggle. Then press the play pause button and you'll see an option for new folder. It'll create a new folder and if you scroll up, you'll be able to rename the folder. To add other apps to this folder, choose another app and press the middle button. Then press play pause button and now you see an option to move it to the folder that we just made. Choose that and it'll move it to the new folder. And now to move an app out of the folder, follow the same steps, but this time choose move to home screen and it'll take the app out of the folder. Hidden feature number seven is shortcuts and automations. Using Siri shortcuts and automations can take your Apple TV experience to the next level. You can put a bunch of Siri shortcut widgets on your home screen that can open certain apps, show you the on-screen remote, play and pause and switch between apps. And you can put a shortcut icon on your home screen that could turn on the screensaver or turn the Apple TV completely off instead of having to find the remote. With automations, you can have your Apple TV work for you. So in the morning, your lights could auto turn on and your Apple TV could automatically turn on and open up your favorite app so you can get to watching your show faster. I really wish Apple would allow us to open up certain shows on the Apple TV with automations, but uh, this will have to do. And if you want to see six easy serious shortcut ideas that you can do with your Apple TV, click this link right here and it'll also be down in the description below. Hidden feature number eight is that you can pair your AirPods and your HomePod minis for better sound. What's so nice about the Apple TV is that it works so well with other Apple devices. You can easily pair your AirPods to your Apple TV for private listening and control the volume with the remote. And what's cool is if you take one bud out, the video will pause. And if you put the bud back in, then the video will continue to play. With a pair of HomePod or HomePod minis paired together, they can be your surround sound for much better sound than using a TV to watch your shows or listen to music. You can set a pair of HomePods as your default TV speakers, and soon you'll be able to use the minis as your dedicated speakers as well. Hidden feature number nine is that you can pair a gaming controller to your Apple TV. With Apple Arcade, you have access to over 180 games that can be played across all of your Apple devices. The current Apple TV remote acts as a controller, and it can be kind of difficult depending on the game that you're playing, so you can use a gaming controller to make things easier. All PlayStation and Xbox controllers work with the Apple TV. Here I have a PS4 controller and to pair it, you open up the settings, go to remotes and devices, choose Bluetooth and hold down the PlayStation and share button and it'll pop up and you can just tap on the name to connect. Now I'm able to play Asphalt 8 with my controller and it feels like you're playing an actual console. And you can actually use the remote to play and pause a show or to skip backwards or to go forwards. And hidden feature number 10 is called AirPlay. If you're not familiar with AirPlay, it allows you to send content from your phone or another Apple device straight to your Apple TV. You can send your full screen, photos, videos, AirPlay, music, and more. It's an easy way to show content. So for example, with photos, choose your photo, tap the share icon, choose the AirPlay icon, choose where you want to send it to, and it will send it off and you can swipe around to show more pictures. Let me know what your favorite feature is of the Apple TV down in the comments below, and thank you for watching.